In this video, I'm gonna show you why this is one of the best laptops that you can buy for about $1,300. Now there's a lot of premium laptops on the market, some a bit more expensive than this laptop and some cheaper, but I believe this hits the middle of the road, the right price point with the right features and build quality to make it worth the money. I'm gonna give you five reasons why I think you should buy it and two reasons you should consider avoiding this laptop. And then I'm also gonna provide you with some alternatives to help you make the right decision for your specific needs. Now I said $1,300, but I've actually seen it on sale for around $1,000. So you might be able to find a discount from time to time on this device, which makes it an even better deal. I wanna give a big shout out to Lenovo and Intel for sponsoring this video. More about that later to come in the video. But right off the bat, I wanna say that they do not have input on what I say in this video. These are my own ideas and my own experiences with the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i or Edition. Now, first and foremost, the main reason that I think this is a fantastic laptop is you'll be hard pressed to find a laptop with a 2.8K color accurate, bright display at around this price point. It has a resolution of 2880 by 1800 at 120 Hertz refresh rate. So it makes a great panel for some light gaming. It's able to reach 501 nits of screen brightness at 100% sRGB, 98% Adobe RGB and 100% DCI-P3 at a Delta E of 0.31. If you don't know a lot about color accuracy and color gamut range, let me walk you through it really quickly. The color gamut is the amount of colors the screen is able to reproduce. It's almost able to reproduce 100% on all the color gamut ranges. And then the accuracy is the accuracy at which those colors are reproduced. And if you're below two, it's really good. If you're below one, it's amazing. And you're actually below 0.5. Five. This screen will reach a high color gamut range and accurately reproduce those colors while also being very bright. Fantastic. This is Lenovo's Pure Sight Pro display, which means it's going to have sharper detail, it's going to have brighter colors, and it's going to have darker darks to substantially limit any ghosting that can take place on your screen. So you're gonna have a really nice clear picture to look at, whether you're streaming video, gaming, or doing work as a creative professional. Now, the next thing I wanna take a look at is much more for my creative professionals and gamers than it is for kind of my just everyday web browsers or people checking email or doing school. This is talking about the thermal management management and fan noise. In order to conduct a full test of this laptop's ability to manage thermals well, I put it through the test with a 4K export. I take a nine minute 4K clip, put it into Premiere Pro, and then export it out at full quality 4K settings. And that really pushes the laptop hard. During the 4K export, it only saw 49 to 60 degrees Celsius on the CPU with a fan noise of 34 to 38 decibels of fan noise. Now your average room has an ambient noise level of about 26 to 30 decibels of fan noise. So it's barely above the ambient noise of a room. So it's very quiet and it thermal manages very well. I was able to conduct that export in just four minutes and 38 seconds. I'll show you full comparisons of other laptops later in the video during the performance section. So make sure you hang on for that. And during that performance section, I'm gonna show you why being on battery power and plugged into the charger, this laptop still gets great performance. And that actually has a lot to do with the thermal management and the ability for it to not get loud and kick on those fans and be very hot. That creates a more efficient and more powerful laptop overall. If it were not for brands like Lenovo and Intel partnering with my channel, it would cease to exist. So I'm really grateful for them sending over the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition AIPC imagined with Intel. This collaboration between the two brands produced something that is both efficient and powerful. This is something that I've been waiting to see both great battery life and good performance on the go. And we're seeing it here in this device. Head on over to Lenovo.com, check out the right configuration for your needs, whether 16 gigs or 32. You can make a purchase by using those links in the description below. Again, thank you so much to Intel and Lenovo for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. All right, next thing I wanna talk about is the build quality as well as the weight and thickness. This laptop is nice and thin, but like I always say, not too thin. Some laptops just get too thin and it limits the performance of the device and just eliminates the practicality of it. Sometimes they're so thin, they almost feel kind of shaky and brittle. This feels great in my hands. 
It doesn't have much chassis flex, and so it's a very solid device. Now, I did notice that there was a little bit of press on the top cover of the device, so just keep that in mind, that the aluminum materials aren't super thick, but they're still nice and rigid. Let me show you a quick screen flex test to show you how rigid the top cover is you can see that it does not have a lot of screen flex. Also, when you go to do a little bit of screen bounce test, it stops bouncing very quickly. The hinge holds the panel to the keyboard deck very nicely. Now let's go ahead and flip the laptop over. And while we're here, let's talk about the upgrade path. You will be able to upgrade a singular M.2 storage drive in the device. Now that will be the boot drive. So you'll have to swap that out and reinstall Windows if you want to upgrade the size of your storage drive within the device. Now it does come with one terabyte. So that is a pretty solid start. So you can always upgrade that to you know two terabytes or beyond, but I wanna let you know that that is upgradable. However, the RAM is not. You will not be able to upgrade the RAM within this device. So whatever you purchase it with, I have the 16 gig model, you will not be able to upgrade that after you purchase it. They do have a 32 gig model available, and part of me encourages people to get the 32 gig model because it's only an extra $100 to get double the RAM, which will definitely provide you with more performance using this laptop in Photoshop or video editing or other creator tools, and most importantly, multitasking. So having multiple apps open at the same time. It's very beneficial to have more RAM. So might be something you consider going ahead, spending that extra $100 and getting more RAM for the device. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, I know I've mentioned that they go on sale from time to time. You can head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. For the ports on the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition, we have a USB type A, USB C, our power button, and the manual cutoff switch for the webcam on the right side of the device. Flip it over for your HDMI, USB type C, and a headphone jack. So we have good connectivity, but I must say, for this device being color accurate, having really solid performance, which we'll talk about later in the video, I do wish we had maybe an SD card reader or even an additional USB type C. Now, the reason that I want the additional USB C is that, as you saw, there was no dedicated power adapter port where you would plug in your charger. You're gonna charge this device via USB type C. And for me, I'm somebody who uses, you know, a handful of peripherals with my laptop at any given time, whether it be USB drives while editing, a mouse, a keyboard. If I wanna just create a, you know, more comfortable on the go workstation setup. And so for me, I would like to see extra ports. And that is reason number one, you might not want to purchase this device. If you're somebody who attaches a lot of peripherals to their laptop, there's not as much connectivity unless you were to bring in a dongle. Now, number two reason I would not purchase this device is although it does have a very nice color accurate and touchscreen display, it is not pen compatible. And if you're a digital artist and you want that functionality, that will not be available on the Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition. You will need to consider something else. An alternative would be a 14 inch laptop like the Lenovo Yoga 9i, which has a really color accurate, bright, touchscreen pen compatible display, but that is a 14 inch laptop. And there's also the Lenovo Yoga 7i, which is a 16 inch version. However, the color accuracy is not as good as this Aura Edition. It's going to have, I think, 64% sRGB rather than the 100% sRGB, 98% Adobe RGB, and 100% DCI P3 with the fantastic Delta E of 0.38. So those are my two big reasons I would consider choosing a different device. Now let's get back into the things I like about the Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition. It would be the dished keys. Man, these dished keys are so comfortable. You really have a sense of where you're at on each key so you don't miss a keystroke. And they have a bit of a soft touch coating on them. Now they say that that soft touch coating is actually oil resistant so that you don't build up you know, oil residue on the keys over time. Now I have not had long enough with this laptop to know that for sure, but it was a nice touch to know that it would be beneficial because my other laptops, they start to just build up oil and it's visually just kind of unattractive in my opinion. So that is a nice feature. It's a quiet keyboard, really nice medium key travel, snaps back very quickly. 
it's a very nice keyboard to type on. Full size shift keys on the right and the left are arrow keys. And then of course, moving down to the trackpad, it is not the largest trackpad I've seen on a laptop, but it's a great size. It is quiet, more of a dampened click rather than a loud snappy click, really comfortable to use. Here's a quick audio sample of me using the keyboard and the trackpad so you can hear for yourself what it sounds like. Earlier, I showed you the speakers on the bottom of the chassis. Those are actually just the supporting base speakers. The main speakers are actually on the keyboard deck, which creates a really good immersive audio experience. I was really hopeful, fingers crossed, when I saw these upward facing speakers that it would be a good experience. Sometimes even upwards facing speakers can disappoint and these did not disappoint. Here's an audio sample so you can hear for yourself what they sound like. <laughs> Now there is a webcam along the top bezel. Here's a sample so you can see for yourself what it looks and sounds like. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Without further ado, let's get into the performance to see if this laptop has the performance you need for your daily tasks. Now, first and foremost, we're gonna look at the Cinebench scores for this laptop. Now we have the Intel Core Ultra 7 256V. We have Intel Arc 140V for the integrated graphics, 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD. Now remember that you can also get this device in 32 gigs of RAM, which I do recommend because it will give you better performance inside of say Photoshop, give you much better performance while multitasking with music and web browser and creator apps and maybe video editing. So I do recommend that if you have the budget. Now, as we get into the real world benchmarks, you can see that this laptop is showing solid performance, leading the pack with some laptops that had 32 gigs of RAM, the Intel Core Ultra 9, and this just has 16 gigs of RAM. So again, imagine if you had the 32 gigs, I'm guessing you're gonna see high 6,000s or even low 7,000s on your score, which makes for a much smoother experience in Photoshop, having more complicated projects and much smoother multitasking. Now, as we move on to video editing, earlier we were talking about the thermals and you can see that for that nine minute 4K export, four minutes and 38 seconds. So a really respectable export time from this device and looking at drop frames, only four drop frames for full quality playback. So you're not gonna have any issues editing 4K or 1080p. Now I did run my standard 6K video editing on this device. It dropped about half of the frames in the project. So out of the 16,177 frames during the playback, I load a 6K or a 4K project and then play it back in the timeline. Both of those have the 16,177 frames. And then I check how many frames it drops and that dropped about 7,724. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this laptop for 6K video editing. The export time for a nine minute 6K clip was 39 minutes. So could it do it? Absolutely. Would it be fast and efficient? No, but it's definitely capable. I would recommend a laptop with a dedicated GPU if you're interested in getting into higher resolution video editing, 3D modeling, or any workflow that requires a lot of graphics intensive tasks. As you can see in the benchmarks, whether you're on battery power or plugged into the charger, the results are the exact same for 4K video editing, and you only see a slight difference for Photoshop. So it's incredible to see that on the go performance and plugged into the charger performance are neck and neck. If you're looking for a device with great performance, a very nice color accurate, large color gamut, bright screen, very nice keyboard experience, very nice typing experience on the keyboard and nice quiet trackpads. You don't, you're not clicking away, distracting your neighbors. A really solid immersive audio experience, thin and light build quality and really good battery life. So you're matching great performance with solid efficiency and good thermal management. Then I must say, welcome to the Lenovo Aura Edition imagined with Intel. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, links are in the description below. Otherwise, click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.